Hi everybody, this is Nathan Ware with Rain Networks, and today we're going to do part two of our video series on our ESET cloud security platform. In our first video, we went over how to create groups and then how to make custom agents for your computers to make the agents report back to the groups that you want them to report back to. Now what we want to do, now that we've got the agent software loaded on the computers, we want to do the next step, which is pushing out the installation software, uh, pushing out the endpoint software um, as an installation package. And so that's what we're going to go through today is how to make packages, um, how to make custom packages, and how to get those packages installed on our computers. So let's zoom in and I'll show you a little bit about what that looks like. So what is it? what do you do next? What's the next step? Well, once you've got the agents installed, you now are at a spot where you can go uh, push out the actual endpoint packages to the computers. So let me kind of show you what that looks like here. So first of all, let's look at this folder here where we have two computers in this folder. Um, and I want to first kind of note what these icons designate. So notice on this computer, I've got two icons, okay? This is the agent icon, so this tells me that the agent is installed on the computer. And this one that looks like a computer monitor is the actual endpoint security software, so the actual piece of software that's protecting the computer. You'll see though, on this uh, computer, I just have the agent loaded, so I've only done half the work that I need to do. All right, so let's go ahead and go through pushing out the software over the internet to this computer and have it install. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this computer and I'm going to select new task. Now, I could also do this at the folder level. I could click on my folder, click on the gear and click new task to run this task on all the computers in this folder. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to do it on this particular computer. So I'm going to click new task, okay, because remember, we're going to be doing a push install task here. So I'm going to name my task. I'm going to just call it push install. Uh, to Nathan's work machine, okay? And then down here, I'm gonna select the task that I want here. I wanna do a software install task because we're literally gonna install the software. All right, and then just working down here under target, it's gonna show me what computer it's gonna run this task on. So that's obvious it's gonna uh, install it on the computer that I selected. And my next section here, settings, is where I'm gonna go tell it the settings for my task. So first of all, I wanna check the checkbox to uh, accept the EULA. I then come down here to choose ESET license and I select the license that I'm gonna use on that computer. And then I'm gonna select which uh, install package I wanna run on the computer. So I'm gonna click choose package and I'm gonna select ESET endpoint security and click okay and then hit finish. And that's just how easy it is to push out software from this console. The console will now go out over the internet, talk to the agent, uh, running on that computer and then push out the software uh, and install it silently. Uh, the, the user will not even know that the installation is happening and additionally um, it will uninstall your old endpoint software if you were running say you know whatever AVG or some other brand of software it'll literally uninstall um, that piece of software and install ESET. Uh, one key note on that, make sure that the uh, software is not password protected. Some people do password protect their endpoint software. Make sure for the sake of doing a rip and replace that the software is not password protected. But that's how easy it is now, once you've got your agent installed, to then push out the endpoint software uh, to the, the destination computer. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're gonna have a third video coming up um, later that's gonna go through applying policies uh, to your endpoints so that you can customize how the software operates on the computers. Thanks a lot for joining us. Again, this is Nathan Ware with Rain Networks.